John Wall is a 72-year-old male with a Ph.D. He was previously a Lutheran minister and was preparing to become a Catholic priest until he suffered a stroke in July of 2003. When given a pure tone hearing screening, it was found that Mr. Wall has a bilateral sensory neural hearing loss. He was also given the Zelvis oral peripheral screening examination, which looked at the structures and functioning of his mouth, tongue, and jaw. Results of that examination indicated that Mr. Wall's motor function and coordination were adequate for speech sound production. His diadochokinetic rate was within normal limits. Mr. Wall's speech sound production was judged to be within normal limits during conversation as well. He reported that he currently has good auditory and reading comprehension skills. However, he has had difficulty with expressing what he is thinking, trouble with time and measurements, and trouble with writing, spelling, and reading aloud. Mr. Wall indicated a desire to improve these skills. How are you today, John? I'm good. I'm a little tired. How yeah, are you? It's been a long, rainy week. It I'm has. Good too. Uh, you can take a seat right here. Okay. Um, oh. We're just going to start with a short interview before we begin the testing, just so we can find a little bit more information. Sounds good. All right. So tell me about your stroke. Um, well, I was just at home, sitting at home, and um, like doing nothing, and next thing you know, I was in a big bed at the um, hospital. Oh, wow, okay. And about how long ago did that happen? Let's see. Um, three years ago? Okay. Yeah, three years. Three years, all right. And have problems from the stroke changed at all since then? Gotten any better or worse? Uh, when I was in this thing like this, it was better. And then like when I um, stopped, um, I had trouble. Okay. Um, are you currently taking any medications? I'm on something for my hot blood uh, pressure. Don't know the name. Something okay. I take every once in the morning and once at night. Okay, but just for morning. high blood pressure. Yes, high blood pressure. That's it. All right. And have you been using any strategies for problems that the stroke caused? Um, no. But I want to. I want to learn some. But no, I don't use any. Okay. Tell me about your goals for therapy. What do you want to improve on? Um, my goals. Um, oh, reading. Mm -hmm. My writing. Um, like spelling. And when people ask me questions or to tell them the names of things. I, like, um, have a hard time with that. And reading out loud. Oh, and numbers, that's hard. Numbers, like, um, telling time or, like... Yeah, like measuring, math, okay, math measuring. measuring, adding things, just simple things like that. Okay. All right, well, we are going to begin the testing now. Okay. All right. Thank you. So how are you today? Good. Have you been here before? Here? No. What is your first and last name? 
John Wall. What is your full address? 3246 Portage Road, Boulder, Colorado. All right. And what is your occupation? Um, like Sundays, I um, speak on Sundays up on top with a lot of people. Um, yeah. Okay. And why are you here? What seems to be the trouble? Writing, reading. Um, I used to be good at it. Reading to people. Um, I have trouble like naming things, uh, spelling, some math. Okay. Now, tell me what is happening in this picture. Whoa, looks like fun. There's a boy. He's flying a um, like a um, a kite. Um, there's like people here. He's reading a man and a woman. He's reading um, a magazine. Dog is running, chasing the boy. The man is glitching. And he caught a um, caught a little creature. This one's in the ocean by the lake. People are in the boat. Looks like they're on vacation. She's building something in the cold, I mean hot um, sand. Ooh, they're eating something. Um, you can listen to it in your car on that thing. Um, it's probably warm outside. Okay. All right. What is this? A book. What is this? Ball. What is this? Um, fork. Knife. What is this? What is this? Paper clip? Paper clip. Name as many animals as you can in one minute. A cat, dog, um, um, an elephant, a giraffe. Complete what I say. For example, if I say ice is, you would say cold. Okay. The grass is 
green. Sugar is white. Roses are red. Violets are purple. All right, we're going to keep going. All right. Answer the following questions. What do you write with? Um, you write with, there's ink. Yeah, ink. What color is snow? Snow is white. How many days are in a week? There are seven. Read this sentence and point to the missing word. Choose the best word from these. The tree has wheels, leaves, grass, fire. The tree has leaves. Okay. And you, you just need to point to the correct response. Okay. The rain is a soldier carries um a I want you to read this aloud and then do what it says. Okay. Raise your hand. Wave goodbye. Close your eyes. Long test. You're doing a great job. Stay focused. I'm trying. A little bit more to do. Okay. okay. that goes with this word. Tell me what word I spell. Okay. N O no. D O G. Dog. N O S E. Nose. B R O W N. Barn. H A M M E R. Hamster. Spell the word up. U-P. Spell the word cat. K. 
K-A-T. Spell the word pond. B-O-N-D. Now I want you to write some different things. Write your name and address. Write about what is happening in this picture. Write a story about what is going on. Write the following sentence. Pack my box with five dozen jugs of liquid detergent. Can you repeat that? Mm -hmm. Pack my box with five dozen jugs of liquid detergent. Can you repeat it one more time? Sorry, I cannot. Okay. Write the following words. Cup. Watch. Nose. I would like you to add, what is five plus four? What is six plus two? I would like you to add, what is 4 plus 3? I would like you to subtract. What is 6 minus 2? Three. I would like you to subtract. What is 9 minus 7? I'd like you to subtract. What is 8 minus 3? 5 By giving the Western Aphasia Battery Revised Exam, the clinician was able to classify Mr. Wall's aphasia according to the aphasia quotient score. This test gave the clinician a better idea of what skills to target in therapy. The Western Aphasia Battery Revised was able to assess Mr. Wall's auditory comprehension and repetition strengths as well as weaknesses in reading, writing, and word retrieval. This test was chosen over the Boston Diagnostic Aphasia Examination because it is less time consuming and also because it provides a supplementary reading and writing category. Thanks for watching our demonstration of the Western Aphasia Revised Test.